It's the Next Gen Piston Cup Series Event 1, three car racing over the Mega Jump, and we're here with the final three groups of round one. All eyes tonight are on that man right there, Lightning McQueen, the veteran driver, bumping up to the Next Gen League. Does he still have what it takes, or uh, is he a washed up has-been with a dream? We're gonna find out as the groups battle on the track for the remainder of the semi-final spots. Now it says here in my handy dandy notebook that many of you are not subscribed yet. Press that button right now, it is free, and we've got a bottomless barrel of high-octane entertainment coming your way. Make sure you turn those noties on as well, and let's get started. All right, it's group number seven. We got 54 Herb Kerbler, 92 Sheldon Shifter, and 73 M Fast Fong. Now, I'm not supposed to be biased, I get it, but M Fast Fong is kind of my guy, so I'm hoping to see him do some good things. Here we go. They are off and off the mega ramp already. Turning sideways is Herb Kerbler, but it looks like Fast Fong was able to get him straightened out. Leading the way now is Sheldon Shifter, whipping through that final curve, but here comes Herb Kerbler, blasting right by him on the straight and able to take that first race victory. Now back to the tape we go. Let's take a look at that. Boom, right there. Kerbler sideways, but Fast Fong able to straighten him out. He is lucky for that because he had the opportunity to do this. Pedal to the metal and pull right by Sheldon Shifter. To the top we go and it's race number two. You can see that they've rotated positions. They do that at the start of each race to ensure the most fair quality racing experience. Beautiful as Fong pulls out in front of that cluster there and he is still in front after that final turn but can Kerbler catch up? It doesn't look like it. And Fast Fong with the big dong takes the victory there. God, that's what I heard they called him back in college. I, I haven't confirmed or denied if it was accurate. Anyways, moving on to race three here. Off the jump, Kerbler bouncing around a little bit. Fong back in the lead. Now remember, it's the first of three races takes the group stage. So this could put Fong with two points. But no, here comes the cavalry. And ripping right by him is Sheldon Shifter and Herb Kerbler. And Sheldon is able to take a race of his own. Let's check out that replay. He gets drifty. And that is where Sheldon takes advantage. You've got to realize that these racers are all so good. You make one small mistake and you are missing out on certain points. Points. Race four now underway off that mega ramp and Kerbler is up off the rail. What is going on? He finally recovers there before it is too late. Sheldon Shifter in the lead now as they pull into the final straight. He's getting kind of drifty. Knocked straight though by Kerbler and it's a race. But here comes Fong with the push and Sheldon Shifter is able to capitalize off that. It is just like I was saying before, these racers are so good that you have to be ready to make a heads up decision at any moment if you wish to succeed. Massive bounce there by Fast Fong, but he's somehow able to maintain his first place right in this run. And here comes Kerbler though, passing him quickly. And Kerbler, my goodness, that is the definition of speed as he blasts through past everybody to take that victory. He wanted that one more than the next guys, that is for sure. Let's watch this one more time again. Both a little bit drifty up top, but Here's where he makes that move right on the inside, right past Fast Fong, and he just runs away with it. Now, Fast Fong is in the hot seat. If either of the other two competitors win this, the race is over. That said, he is landing in first. That's out of the last six races, he's dominated the Mega Ramp. I mean, in four of them, he's been out front. Let's see if he's able to hang on to the lead this time. However, he is still in the lead. He finds that long skinny pedal on the right, and he makes it in first place. Let's take another look at how he made it off that mega ramp. Look at this. He's able to get out there time after time again. I think that's just his experience that's really doing the most. All right, now this is the most exciting part of racing. Race number seven, two, 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 all on the line. This is it. Whoever wins this one is gonna take it all the way. Look at that group as Sheldon pulls out in the lead. Fast Fong is battling to get in front, but Sheldon is blocking him and not letting him by. Fast Fong, is he gonna catch up? No, he's not. And Sheldon Shifter with the victory after a hard fought seven races. Let's take a look at that replay once more. Fast Fong got right by Kerbler and even shoves him up onto the railing there. That is how bad he wanted it, but unfortunately not bad enough because Sheldon was able to stop him and take that victory. Speaking of victory, here's the victory lap by Sheldon. And while he's running that, I'd like to remind you, we've got several more groups coming up, including Lightning McQueen's group. So stick around. Now this is a whole lot of yellow paint. Check these guys out. 70 Richie Guns at 52. George Newwin and number 22 Joey Logano are going to be in group number 
number eight. This is gonna be fun. Richie Guns had qualified six overall in the qualifiers, so you know he's gonna be bringing a lot of heat today. Check out that mega ramp though, and spinning around is Joey Logano. What are you doing back there? He's backwards. And another spin around. What is happening right now? Richie Guns is doing it backwards now, giving him the death stare. And here comes Joey, who almost pulled by. How did that even happen? He went backwards early on and he was able to catch almost all the way back up. Look at that. After the spin, and here comes Joey. Nero in reverse. Not able to pass up Mr. George, but still made a fantastic effort to say the least. If that's any indicator on how the rest of this series is going to go, all I can say is we are in for a treat. Look who's up on the side. That was Gunzit. Richie was just up on two wheels for a bit there. And here is Joey Logano out in the lead back again death stare once more and he's not able to get passed up by george or richie give me that replay again camera guy i want to see what happens so the spin around there from joey early richie was up on two wheels and it looks like george newen was just hanging out is, th is that did i get that right i think so race number three is now underway in the back is richie guns it in the lead right now we have george newen and let's see if he can bring this one home joey logano is in tow though he's getting up close to him but he Taps him right in that bumper respectfully and was not able to pull past. Now, all three of these racers are tied up one to one to one right now, which makes going into race four a whole lot more interesting. Let's see what happens as they go off the mega ramp here. It looks like George takes that lead again, but he's spinning around and now he is backwards, but still in the lead and he spins back around. No, he doesn't. Is he? Yes. He gets back face forward again after guns that smacked into him. Is he going to be able to pull this one off? Here he goes as he gets closer, but guns it gets by that was a slow speed finish but my goodness let's take a look at that again guns it said here i come he somehow found one extra gear and was able to put it into effect to take that victory two points for richie guns it going into race number five you know i think that joey's little nudge onto richie cheese it might have been the reason for him taking that last race but it's neither here nor there let's just focus on the task at hand and that is richie guns it zoom in towards but here comes joey logano wait up he's actually giving it some speed but he gets blocked right there and he's able to hold him off that was crazy driving by richie guns it Oh my goodness, let's take a look at that again. Guns it in the lead. Joey, though, is on a tear right here. And boop, he just says, you cannot pass, Joey. You stay right there in second and let me take this victory. And now while Richie does his victory lap, I'll remind you that up next is the kid himself, is Lightning McQueen's group. We finally get to see what this legend can do on the track. We've got Lightning McQueen, Paul Conrev, and Jonas Carvers. This is not a group for the faint of heart. So strap in, buckle up, and let's get to the races. Off they go and down to the mega ramp. It looks like McQueen already off to a lead. Is that not what we expected to see here today? And look at that move by Paul Conrev into second. He's trying to get past, but he's not able to fight. And McQueen says, I am speed as he finishes with ease right there. My goodness, he gapped them like you wouldn't believe. I mean, McQueen had time to hang out with the women waving the flags by the time everybody else showed up. Look at this move right here by Conrev to get by and then McQueen said this is where we separate the boys from the men as he ripped through for the easiest win of his life. Now what did I say about buckling up earlier? McQueen was flying through the air sideways and he is completely backwards right now. Jonas Carvers is trying to catch up but McQueen is blocking while in reverse he is absolutely lightning and he finishes in reverse in first place. Two victories already for McQueen by race number two. Let's take a look at that again completely sideways to backwards in midair. That is just mind-blowing that he's able to do that and then have the composure to finish in first. Now, McQueen must have been going about 69 miles an hour because that's the only logical explanation for facing the other direction. Nice, I know. Here comes the boys now. Let's see if McQueen can just seal the deal in three races, but it doesn't look like it. Carvers is out to a nice lead here, but oh my God, slingshotting around the opposition was McQueen. He wasn't able to pass, but that was scarily close. Let's take a look back at this one here. You can see from early in the race, McQueen was trying to pass, but wasn't able to get by. And then here with the slingshot, he zoomed through, but unfortunately, Carvers was blocking him perfect and he wasn't able to get by. Still, that just goes to show the kind of race 
position that McQueen is, he can do the most with the least. Now, Conrev got a little hung up out of the gate. Carver's up off the edge, and he spins around into a 180, giving the death stare to McQueen. I don't know if that's a smart move, but we'll see how it pans out for him. Still in front, blocking as he goes. Is he trying to prove a point right now? No way. He just tried to give McQueen a taste of his own medicine. There is a little not-so-friendly, friendly bump by McQueen. Let's take a look again. Conrev got hung up right there off the railing, spins it a 180, and it almost looked intentional. He wanted to look right into McQueen's headlights with this one. You could tell. He's trying to say, hey, you did it to me. I'll do it to you. All I could say is I know what it was like when people would talk trash to Michael Jordan back in the day, so I feel like this is very symbolic of that and not the best idea. Carver's off to an early lead, though, and he is leading the way all the way down the track, but he gets a little drifty, and McQueen says bye-bye. Not only only bye bye but thanks for the final point that I need to move on to the semifinals. McQueen made the moves happen. Just like I was saying, you don't talk trash to somebody like McQueen. He tried to disrespect him and he got smacked in return as McQueen showed why he is the king of this track today. That concludes round one of event one. Nine cars remain, so be sure to click this video to watch the prior groups and hit the subscribe so we can see you right back on the track.